Hello! This video will show you how you can bring in a DXF file and use it as your milling geometry. So we have a conversational program started here with our 9000 control. And after your tool change page, you're going to want to insert a milling cycle. And usually you'd hit start mill followed by geometry. But when you're bringing in a DXF file, you push F11 CAD. And now all your DXF files that are on your control are displayed. We're going to select Snowflake 2. Now all your geometry is drawn that is on your DXF file. So you're going to want to select F1 Toolpath. And now your cursor is in the middle here. It's going to say pick a start point. So let's arrow over to this line. And hit enter. And now it says pick a point in the direction that you want to cut. Whether or not you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise, we'll go clockwise and hit enter. And now it brings you back to your program, and now you can see you have 131 events because it added all them lines of geometry into your milling profile. So now your profile is in there, all you want to do is go back to your start mill event, which is event number two, and you want to fix your feed rate and your final Z depth because that's going to be set to a default setting. So our Z pierce feed rate, we'll put that at 30. And our final Z depth and our first Z depth, we'll make that be 25 thou. And if you'd want to select cutter comp on, off, left, right, you can do so here. For this example, we're going to leave it off. So select F1 store. Now we can verify our program. see it created the geometry it started where we told it to and it's really that simple so if you have any questions feel free to contact us otherwise hope you enjoyed the video thank you